Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Cooks. I'm your sexy ranch man, co-host Calder Ness. This episode we're going to be talking about the Scott Porter unboxings, Invisible John Cena, and answering some listener questions. Episode 408, Howdy Howdy, Let's Get Rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how many six yeah. people think I am funny? It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which absolute fools? It's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Google, back some more. Let's attack him because he's a jerk. Wow, wow, wow. LH for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Joining me, like always, in the studio is your Dial H for Hero Clicks champion, Simeon Bruce. What is going on, my man? You can't see me. I'm right? a little it's a podcast. I can't. I'm see a little you. disappointed because John Cena was billed as "You can't see me, John Cena." We've been calling him Meme Cena. The name on the card is just John Cena. Plain old John Cena. What? What? Stuff, you can dude. definitely see him, WizKids. I can see everything he's about. You know what? I can even look at the back of his card. That would have been a hell of a trait, wouldn't it? You can't look at the back of this card and then you wave your hand in front of your opponent's face for five minutes and say, Welcome to 2017 when rules were still good. Hashtag classic clicks or r slash classic clicks. <laughs> Hashtag classic clicks where we make new rules because we don't like the new rules, new rules. but we like playing with our old rules. So we make new rules to fit how the old rules should work. Yikes. Gosh, man. Classic clicks. If you guys have not checked out the classic clicks subreddit, it's quite a ride. Like maybe if you are an agreement of getting all the new rules, but it's just it's just hilarious. It yeah. is so funny to me. I'm still In not end, down with like all the new rules. I still think knockback should be what it used to be, and like yep. there's a few things I would change. I still think pushing agrees. should be optional, stuff like that. Porter. But Porter dang. agrees that knockback should still be like knockback. I I just want super strength to be useful. That's all I want in any. Kind that's of not capacity. what. That's yeah. not what we're talking about this episode though. So Simeon. <laughs> Let's uh, let's start off with what made you happy. Obviously, we had Scott Porter unboxings, so blanket that made us happy. Of course, this week, yeah. Now let's do something else or yeah. something. So, yeah. if you did not realize, we did a uh, quote unquote live reaction to Scott Porter's unboxing. Uh, sorry, Scott, we skipped through most of your talk and just <laughs> looked at the dials, uh, but we did a uh, live reaction every day of the week. So Monday through Friday, there's five of them. I did not change well, the numbers correctly. No, Hopefully I, I fixed it. Them and... Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I noticed that today. I was like, oh, we did number three three times. And we did um, day three a lot. <laughs> yeah. Groundhog day three. But it was a very good unboxing, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I went into the last day completely. I went into a couple of the days completely unaware of what he was going to pull. Um, I went into the last day not looking at any of the dials. Um it was just a lot of fun seeing some some fresh stuff with like live reactions, yeah. being able to like bounce ideas back and forth. It was a lot I of fun. Personally, Scott would be proud of us. We took his forty minute videos and talked about it for an hour, an hour. <laughs> an hour long. I think he's like, I can respect the uh, the amount of talking these guys did. Hey, Scott, uh, enough of that comic book. All like the inspiration for these figures. Let's talk for an extra 30 minutes about how we don't know how this figure is going to work. Yeah. Um, finally got some clarification, uh, by the way, on the Fast Force or Starter set, I guess. Uh, Sheriff Strange, Supreme, whatever. Oh, yes. um, the one that makes two attacks and deals damage. Um, so the attack phase, when you choose to make an attack... That you enter that phase and you would deal damage and draw a line of fire and yada yada before you choose targets. So that all happens. His whole text happens before he chooses the target. So it is just one attack where he's targeting through an opposing character. Still a terrible figure for 40 points because that attack power is mid dial. But, you know, 
what made me happy was not only all of that, but uh, also I went to a local little uh, bar and grill here in town. Uh, it's called Blondie's, just opened up down the block. It's quite literally, um, let's see, five blocks away from me. That's a, like one up, two, three, four, four down. Yeah. Um, no, they've got really good pizza. Uh, nice. I did not think they would have like stellar pizza or anything, but, um, you know, their appetizers leave a little to be desired. Uh, they're not like amazing. They're a little expensive for what they are, but the, the actual pizza is really solid. It was actually really good for just like a tavern down the road kind of thing. And, uh, like the wait staff and the cooks and stuff are really decent people. And yeah, it's like a new, not really like my new local, like favorite. Cause obviously I don't just hang out in bars, but, um, it's definitely like a place that I'll revisit multiple times throughout the year. Okay, dude. Nice. Is so anyone has a tracker at home? How many like, times has Simeon? We're up what, to made five foods. Food, food is that what We're it is? Up to how five foods? foods and Quaker That's steak and lube does not count. No, come on. No, Quaker right, steak and lube does not count as one of my foods. <laughs> All rats, <laughs> dang it. We got Budino. I, I we got Budino. Um, probably Budino number two. <laughs> I probably, about it I probably twice. definitely yeah. did two Budinos. Absolutely, if you know what you I mean. Um. <laughs> I, I know it wasn't on the podcast, but I still count grapes and bananas. Uh, oh, yeah. Stories. That's yeah, that's a Patreon exclusive food talk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, there's definitely been multiple food talks. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, These I'm pretty sure Momo's w- made uh, like an episode. Oh, yeah, and Momo's then Calder did. came down and tried Momo's. So we're good. Made I him a believer. I did. I'm a believer, I'm a believer, if I try. Anyways, what made me happy this week was I got to upload some fun YouTube videos. I did the WWE Wave 2 funeral and the uh, Captain America has an important message for WizKids. Both of which did really well. And even if they didn't do well, I just just laughed so hard. Ian knocked it out of the park editing these bad boys together. All green screen videos. Um, he let me borrow his green screen and his lights. So we had like really good lighting, you know, obviously a lot of editing. And he like did all the editing for them. Uh, I thought he had like great comedic timing on a lot of these. Um, it made me laugh. I was like laughing. I was like showing them to people that like didn't play Hero Clicks, didn't know like anything about Hero Clicks. And they all thought it was hilarious. Uh, when Mr. Sacco sheds a tear at the funeral, uh, <laughs> everybody so I showed it to you thought it was funny. Oh, dude, yeah. it, I was like a blink so and you hard. miss it moment, but yeah. Yeah, Mr. Sacco so just staring uh, so, so uh, yeah, normal. And then all of a sudden, like, a little tear. A little tear. Uh, yeah, dude, it was it was awesome. So thank you to everybody, you know, thanks to Ian for all that, you know. And I'm thankful to everybody that, like, watched the videos and shared them around and all that stuff. That was just really, really fun. So that's what made me happy this week. Yeah. And to the one person on Facebook that um, ah uh, nah, don't worry about that it. Come on. posted the pictures of the John Walker like the oh, prime U.S. Yeah. agent, we were well aware when the video was released that we had already seen. Like Calder did a write up for U.S. agent yeah. before releasing that video. Yeah, That's not what the video was. It wasn't about like please make this character that's not at all like we were very well aware that that character existed in this set right yeah it's not what the video was about so many people just that goes over a lot of people's heads that yeah you know that's just kind of like yeah it's the way it is but i was like a when i saw that humor. i was just like it takes the it takes the wind out of my sails i'm like really that's what you're going to quote yeah. unquote add to it's, the discussion it's hard you when you try and make anything. a joke in the hero clicks community and the response is like Oh, oh, that's uh, right. Yeah. A lot of you don't understand jokes. Sadly, yeah, that person they did not get it. Uh, but, anyways, let's uh, let's get into the news. <music> Simeon, you can't see him. I can't see him, but we can see his dial. Let's talk about Invisible John Cena. Oh Lady yeah, Bobbity, all that fun stuff. This is so I've I've seen a lot of talk about this guy. Um, obviously, direct to silver, 
Um, no golden right. era in the sun. No no modern age under any kind of special tree. Uh, John Cena comes in with WWE and celebrity keywords. He's got the signature move trait, which is attitude adjustment. If he has one action token, slam. When he uses it after resolutions, a hit character can't use damage powers until your next turn. Would be cool if it was defense. It's slightly less cool. Damage powers usually aren't as impressive, but it's still neat. His other trait, however, this is like what makes him stand out from like the rest of the WWE roster. And he is WP20001. So he is the missing link. Oh, he is we... 001. Yeah. Oh, weird. Oh, that's weird that he was number three. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, when John Cena hits until your next turn, he can't be the target of any attack unless he's the only character on your force. So no close, no range. Um, it's not protected pulse wave for whatever that's worth. I don't remember if the WWE team ability is. Um, but yeah, needless to say, on his first click, so he starts with charge on click one. He then goes to nimble for the rest of his dial. Uh, and nimble, again, is free move one plus two breakaway, which for the record, plus two breakaway does nothing under the new rules. So anyone that writes like maybe an article about this guy mentioning how he's got plus two breakaway, um, that does nothing. So don't even mention it. Uh, but then he's got a 45 point line and an 85 point line. This 45 point line starts on click four and it's four clicks long. His 85 point line, which is probably the only thing worth playing him at, uh, starts on click one, obviously has his 10 speed charge, 11 attack, 18 defense, three damage with perplex. Now what makes him interesting is on click one, because of the WW team ability, not only does he have grand entrance, he also has that protection from range and outwit on click one. And then if he can close the gap and hit and keep hitting, like, you know, you have a leadership or you have something solid like that, he'll just pretty much forever be unable to be targeted by attacks. Again, I don't remember if that uh, WW team ability is protected from out or from pulse wave, but yeah, other than like, poison or whatever it'd be really hard to get him off that top click and even then if you can get him off of it and he can keep hitting if he can quake if he can slam if he can do any of those things uh he gets stunned later on in his dial he just cannot be targeted with attacks he's got probably the longest dial of any wwe hero clicks figure because of that yeah i mean dude he just he's beefy love it Solid values can be yeah. targeted. What can you do? Can be targeted. For the record, it's also the exact same sculpt as the main set John Cena, just completely I mean, translucent. He's doing the he's doing the you can't see me. He's got a Is that not the same sculpt? It is the same sculpt. So he's, oh, okay. I mean I'm just saying like of okay, course yeah, they yeah. have to He's doing like the he's doing the that yeah. fan hand wave in front of his face. He's got to. You know? Uh dude. Does he have the same point lines, like 85 and 45? Is that not John Cena's also, like, point Probably. lines in that one? Yeah, I would not surprise me if it's the exact same dial, to be honest. No, I'm sorry. It's 80 and 50. I was off by five points. My bad. Both yeah, ends. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's interesting. They have a, cheaper. A late dial regen. They like to give John Cena that regen. You just you can't put him down, dude. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh it's really hard to tell with like the way it looks, but obviously he has blue clicks, but they don't look blue. Honestly, they're really hard to see uh, in the picture. The perplex, you know, like you said, charge 12. It's pretty decent odds at hitting someone. And he never gets it. Plus range, protected pulse wave, protected outwit. He's a, he's a bit of a beast, dude. Yeah. I don't think you ever need multiples and I don't think he's winning you any games. Um, what I do think is in silver, he makes uh, like a solid ID battery between being oh, protected yeah. from range and being able to move 10 squares out of the starting area and then call someone in that kind of stuff. Um, but also he's just, he's kind of like a sweet point denial kind of thing. Like he just, he's good at what he does. I think it's a real shame he's getting rotated early. I think with what he does, uh, like he could definitely easily see like modern play. Oh yeah. 
that's that's a pretty easy thing to like i guess break for lack of better term you know like i think it's very solid so this is what it is um but all right if we want to go ahead and get i mean i'm still excited i'm still obviously gonna try to pick one up like absolutely of course um yeah, I can't yeah, wait he'll be hit it's an awesome eBay dial. or some other um, auction site. Auction site, yeah. yeah. Kind of app, maybe. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And, you know, I realize my venue plays silver enough, and we play silver with, like, a ban on ID cards normally anyways, and we'll always probably continue to do that. For casual nights, they'll probably be able to play John Cena enough. My venue plays golden enough that I'll still be able to play him just a shame not seeing him at like a wko or you know something but you know i guess you know we've never seen at a wko simeon probably never will black vulcan oddly enough not really? funny Isn't that funny to think about well there were no wkos right like yeah that's true gonna, yeah, at a, yeah an actual wko yeah yeah, yeah he will rotate before wow that is strange to think about it, I know, right? And I will no longer say any more depressing, weird news like that. Scott Porter, unbox some stuff. He, the first video was uploaded like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock on Monday. It was late. It was, yeah, it was late in the day, dude. We thought and we were wrong, yeah. I know. I, I was like, I was sitting like with my phone in my hand, like getting ready to like watch the video. And I'm like, 9 goes by. It's like 9.15. I'm like, all right, well, I, it's a better get back to it. It's not going to happen. Then I'm like sitting down, you know, almost finished up a day. And then it's like, bing, Scott Porter. Is like, I'm like, what? I had already sent a message to the Discord that like, I guess I was wrong, boys. Next week for sure, though. Next week for sure. But like, nope, Scott Porter unboxing. I'm like, okay, well, let's go. Uh, and, you know, watched it and everything. Um, But yeah, so like Simeon already alluded to and said, we have full deep dives on all of these figures on our main YouTube channel. And so we're not going to talk about too many of them. We're going to talk about the ones we specifically like thought were cool. So we're each going to go kind of into one dial of a figure we're the most excited for. Of course, if you want to see more, you can check those out. And like always, we are going to do a full set review like we've done with Rise and Fall, like we've done with Empire. Like we've done War of the Realms. Oh, geez. Wow, we've done this a few times uh, for this <laughs> set. So don't worry about it. There will be a full set review, guys. Um, but So what what Scott Porter pull? He pulled three super rare. I mean, what, did he, what did he not pull? Simeon? What do we still need from this set? What do we still not know? So it is very encouraging that a, well, his brick was very encouraging for a few reasons, but it's very encouraging that it looks like a brick will get you most of all the commons and uncommons and quite a few of the rares. So the only uncommon that he was missing was Dr. Strange Supreme, which also maybe the most interesting uncommon hard to tell uh but a very interesting uncommon to not have pulled um from the rares he has miss minutes the uh prime power broker zombie captain america heist nebula loki uh the non-prime john walker captain america and that's all it that's everything for the rares so only six rares missing out of a brick uh, from the Super Rares, he's missing Hydra Stomper, Captain Carter, the non-Prime Captain Carter, Vision and Prime Vision, the Watcher, Winter Soldier, Loki, the Falcon, and then the only chases that he was missing was Agatha Harkness, the Scarlet Witch, and Captain America. And we still haven't seen what the LE Doctor Strange does, but yeah, he's only missing three chases because uh, if you watch the video, of course, he pulled a God Pack, so... Oh. Yep, that was that was day five, and it was the first booster that he opened, but then he was like, oh, if this is what I think it is, I'll open it last. He pulled some cheeky little Scott Porter yeah. stuff. Like, and then he not still say... pulled a chase. I know, the craziest right? thing so was good. he put the God Pack aside and was like, oh, like I'll open this one. And then he was like, well, was that a God Pack? Because there's a chase and like a super rare in here. Or maybe it was just a chase and a rare or whatever. But yeah, he pulled the collector and uh, what was it? Sylvie, Sylvia. Yeah, was it pulled like, the collector and yeah. silver. He had a he had a chase and a and a spare. Like yeah, <laughs> in the in the non god pack. We'll say, uh, what is interesting? The god pack was all what if stuff. So it was all the what if chases minus collector for whatever reason. So it was Loki, yeah. Ultron, uh, Sakaran, Iron Man. But the brick um, was all what if. 
the brick what do you mean the brick was all what if no i mean it was was every single what if chase it was what Um, it was every what if yes the brick was all uh, what if chases one two three uh, four honda it only missed four um what if figures no one two three four five it only missed six what if characters throughout the whole set list wow it's pretty incredible yeah, everything else was live action, but I mean, really throughout the whole set list it didn't miss a whole lot. Obviously, god packs will not be the norm, at least probably not. No, they probably um, won't be. Imagine they'll be pretty rare. Yeah. I, I hope that like so like this brick, I'm really scared what the other brick in that case would be. You know what I mean? <laughs> if like the god pack gets a chase booster and you a god pack. You get the un god pack, which is just an empty booster with like a no. sorry. <laughs> like Whoopsies. No. What's you this note? Oh you. Is this a coupon? Oh no, it says sorry. And there's just nothing in my booster. <laughs> do not go do not collect a god pack. Do not pass go. <laughs> do not collect a god pack. Go immediately to sadness. Yeah. I yeah, go immediately to sadness. It sucks to suck, dude. Um, I think if all the god packs are what if god packs, that'd be interesting. Uh I think the only way to do a live action god pack is you have to use one of the rare primes. So it's like one of the rare primes, the vision, a super rare white vision prime, and then it'd be like Agatha, Falcon Cap, and then Here's another Agatha. thing. So we got four out of eight objects. Did the Captain Carter shield come with the Prime? It with Does the Prime. it only come with Man. the Prime? And I hope it comes with the normal one too. It would really suck if it came with yeah, the Prime. Yeah, if that's a Prime ob- like so we in Fantastic Four we had Prime objects, but then we also had the non Primes had different versions of the objects. And wasn't like a super big fan of the Prime object slot, but this would be like a whole new level where if you pull a super rare, you have to also get the prime just to have like access to the shield. That would suck. That would be, yeah, that'd be real bad. Uh, if I want to play with this, like, Oh, go ahead and buy it on the secondary market for $90. Wasn't it, was it the wonder woman that came with the sword and she was the non prime. Yeah. She was still like a hundred something bucks. Right. Yeah. Isn't that the sword of Athena wonder woman. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It was, very very difficult to pull and then everyone like wanted the sword just so i don't even think it was like necessarily good it's like good in certain situations but it was more so just to have access to all of the shifting focus equipment it was a simpler time there was different equipment there was only one sword they just wanted the one sword (laughs) we only needed the one sword we didn't even have shields we were just using bracelets (laughs) yeah Yeah. bracelets Um, but anyways Uh, some like mini highlights for me, uh, Ralph Boner being the real name of Quicksilver. That's just funny. Uh, so I like that. Uh, seeing more bystanders, seeing that uh, Sinor Scratchy is Agatha's bunny, and then we're, we might get more bystanders for other characters. Uh, so, so far, it's just her and Zombie Spider Man or Zombie Hunter Spider Man that make bystanders. But hopefully, we get to see more so that way, see me and I can do more funny <laughs> bystander cosplays. Um, incredible amount of flavor each dial has, giving Jimmy Woo the mystical keyword because he learned the close-up magic uh, that Scott Lang uses is hilarious, and I love it. Um, so yeah, there's like lots of really fun little things in the set. There's so much flavor, like each dial, like even though they don't match maybe how that character looks or something but there's going to be at least a trait or a set of powers or something that's going to like feel like that character the a trait for black panther star lord is amazing with his whole ravager family uh wakanda oh yeah yeah Thanos. so cool i and love it's a that very, very specific part of the episode like that the line draws from and stuff that yeah dude it's awesome um already thor is funny and thematic in his own way you know it's great i uh real quick so i want to talk about us agent um i talked about him a lot tuesday i did a write-up on tuesday i love us agent wanted to marry me anyways uh us agent's got brute and soldier uh this is probably one of the most like accurate figures like i just my mind was just blown that this figure was made it's designed uh he's got the i'm back trait he gets to start the game with the us agent shield and or the super soldier serum equipped 
he can have both of these equipped at the same time. Cost no points. This dude's only 50 points. He's wild. This trait, consistently making the right decisions in the heat of battle, which of course he does every time. And that's not sarcasm. That's true. I genuinely believe <laughs> that. All right. Um, when a friendly character within line of fire is KO'd, doesn't say point value, doesn't say range, because he's got no range. Friendly character, line of fire is KO'd by an opposing effect. That is important. Choose one to last for the rest of the game. Furry exploit Super Sense's Battle Fury Outwit. If people keep dying, he gets to choose more. This I love. Now, this is like the first figure in a long time where I've like, maybe it would be nice to have like a power pad. Do you remember those, Simeon? Where people would make the, little... For like pick colored, a power characters? Where yeah, you pick could power like, characters, little you colored keep squares. track of it. I remember yeah. those for like a hot minute and then yeah. they were like completely unnecessary within like six months. Yeah, they didn't see a ton of use. I've never seen them in a tournament. Um, I did make a power pad sort of for my Super Scrolls when I was playing three on a team because it was a little annoying to try to remember who had what. Anyways, so that's his two traits. He has a speed power, and the speed power he has for the first four clicks of his dial, and then he gets normal charge after it, and then he's got a defense power for his first two clicks. So speed power, charge, and stealth. U.S. agent uses charge. If he occupies hindering terrain, do not have a speed value. Charge and stealth work together beautifully doesn't need to ignore hindering train because it's not a thing anymore and then full he gets to full speed charge like dakin uh i love dakin Dakin. i don't even know who how i'm supposed to pronounce it anymore uh, dakin wolverine's yeah. kid wolverine's bastard child japanese son uh <laughs> that one you know uh the dude with the two claws i know he's got three doesn't he yeah, Still has Faux Hawk. yeah he's got the yeah. he's got the underside this claw one. and the underside top claw. claws yeah, uh, that's right. I always forget about those. Yeah, he's uh, got anyways, the dew claw. I think is dew what claw. Called. That's what. It, no, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. He's got the dew claw. Uh, so like, I love the full speed charge. That's awesome. He's got ten. Right? Yeah, he's got ten speed top dial. Absolutely love it. And then he has willpower, combat reflexes, and toughness. Your special defense power. So, what does the shield do? What's it give him? It gives him combat reflexes. If this character can already use combat reflexes, instead modify defense value plus three instead of two. Uh, so now he has plus three to defense from close with combat reflexes. So he's a 21 top dial from close. If you're being smart, keeping him in stealth, all that, you know, good stuff. And then what is that? Uh, really quick. What does Super Soldier Serum do? Super Soldier Serum is willpower. If they can already use it, they succeed on a four through six. First of all, amazing object for five points. Both these are five points. All the objects have been five points, actually. Uh, it's pretty wild. Um, they're simplistic in nature, but still very, very effective. Um so now he's got 50-50 willpower as well on top of that. He has super strength. He has close combat expert. Both of these for his entire dial. His charge his entire dial. Once he loses, actually, he's got normal ones. And he's got combat reflexes. Obviously, his entire dial traded. But then he also has two close of combat reflexes there in the middle. And then on his last two is an 18 defense with regeneration. So he's always a 20 or higher from close, which is amazing. He's always going to be an 11 for three anywhere on his dial. Top dial, he is a 12 for 4. Pick up a light object or a heavy object, it'll still be a 12 for 5. Uh, dude's a beast. He can get flurry. He's got two targets. Uh, absolutely nuts for 50 points. He's well-deserving of the prime slot. He feels really cool. I love, love, love this figure. Talked about him enough, but just seriously, guys. There's flavor. It's beautiful. John Walker's my man. So happy this figure got made. I said it in that post. It feels like it's like a love letter from WizKids to me. And I'm very thankful we have this John Walker. It is a dope. Yeah, I agree. It's one of the most fun primes that we've had in a while. Where it's not like right off the bat, just like instantly like, oh, I can see how competitive this is. But it's like, I can see why this figure would want you to like, you'd want to build around certain things that this figure does. Um, rather than just like slapping it on a team. Um, so some of the things that I really liked from the unboxing i think there's like plenty of utility throughout like most of what we saw there's really only a few absolute misses for me and this is as like i was going in not super like pumped about the set list and i'm still not like amazed with like the set list i think uh we didn't need double t'challa we didn't need double monica rambo especially oh, when they have like the ability especially to have two monica point rambo lines. yeah she really pretty much does the same thing. So I'll talk about the, the common Monica because I prefer that to the uncommon. And I think the 
common is way better. So for 25 points, she has one attack power, one special attack power, no speed powers, four range with shield, and then she's got two rollouts her entire dial. She's got super senses every click and shape change every click. She's four clicks long. Her special attack power is power. Choose an opposing character within range and line of fire. Until your next turn, Monica Rambeau gains a mobile, and when the chosen character attacks, it can only target a character named Monica Rambeau. So she essentially, you know, if your opponent is playing, I don't know, any any big hitter, like any main force, like anything that's not silver where they can just call in an ID card instead of attacking you directly, like uh, Heroclix intended, um, this Monica Rampo can shut them down for a turn. And it's just super solid because then she can also try and roll out with both Shape Change and Super Senses. And even if she doesn't, she hits her stop click. And there's ways, not for this one, but there's ways for certain characters to pop her off of those stop clicks. So it's a really solid little 25-point figure. I don't know if Celebrity and Sword keywords are enough for it to work, but I think it's really cool. Um, I was really impressed with how they like made a character that honestly didn't have enough screen time to be super useful into like a very useful little cheap hero clicks figure. Um, another figure that I really liked that they did was the super Agnes from the all new Halloween spooktacular episode. So for 45 points, not only are all of these figures really long dials, they're six clicks long for 45 points. She's got mystics. She's got a stop click. She's got stealth and TK top dial with some mastermind. And then she's got the special damage power, Senor Scratchy. So free, generate a Senor Scratchy bystander. And he's essentially the same thing that the the super rare, um, Zatanna from Batman animated series, like her yeah. little bats did. So he has Blade's Claws fangs, but has the D6 results. So he... Senor Scratchy actually does have some offensive capability with a 9 attack. He's autonomous, 4 speed, with no flight, uh, tiny sized, and then a special damage power, which is enhancement, and then friendly adjacent characters with the mystical or celebrity keyword modify attack plus 1. So he's almost like a light version of Skeets, but yeah. only on like certain That's keywords, fair. mystical or celebrity. Um, honestly, you're probably never playing this unless it's mystical or celebrity. And that's like what it would normally work best with anyhow. So it makes sense. Uh, Senor Scratchy also has a 16 defense with super senses, but yeah, Agnes is just really solid. She's got that shape change power. So if she hits shape change, uh, she can heal off of her stop click or she can just heal normally. Um, on clicks three, or no, clicks four through six, she gets Psychic Blast with three damage and six range, two lightning bolts. So she turns into her own attacker once she can no longer make Senor Scratchy with the Mystic's team ability. It's just a really fun, like that whole set of characters, that all new Halloween spooktacular. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a fun casual team to play. I know you and I talked about, like, we just assumed that because there's going to be like a Wanda, a Vision, and like, multiple versions of them where it's like oh these are probably just gonna be shifting focus i'm so happy honestly they didn't go that route and i'm happy that like all the yeah. halloween figures yeah, yeah. are like their own thing like that's because so, yeah I this love that. this 45 point line is like really fun um lets you like use a bunch of them together and it's yeah i'm glad that i didn't get like the big powerhouse vision and wanda for 45 points i'm glad that they I, stuck with this yeah. you know here's this trait and this stop click that is very reminiscent of that episode. Um, yes. Also, a shout out to what is probably the most likely thing to get errated before set release. Um, the starter set watcher 101B. Uh, so he has the uh, the trait that is the watcher's line of fire are never blocked, which is fine. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, you may turn the watcher's dial to any click. Now, most of the time when they say this kind of thing, they would say, uh, at the end of your turn, turn him back to the click that he was on. Right. Or they would say, like, roll a d6 afterwards. Like, there's there's been multiple characters that have, like, some sort of random aspect. Or they just make you note the click. Like, Taskmaster had a dial like this. Um, the 
Grandmaster from Ragnarok. Is that what Jeff Goldblum did? Yeah. Grandmaster had a dial like that uh, from that movie set. There's been a lot of figures over the years where you could turn them to a click, but then you either rolled to see which click they ended up on, or you had to turn them back to their like original click. This guy does not have that text, and that's really the only part of him that needs fixed. Um, he does have a bottom dial with 20 defend, which while I do think is really solid, I also realize, you know, I do think a 19 or 20, it's not impossible to hit that in the realm of like super perplex, uh, masters of evil, PD, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But the sheer fact that you could hit him for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five damage. And he's got mystics. And then he could heal back up to click one, like quote unquote heal back, just turn his dial back to click one is not good for the game. Uh, Mm. He's a standard character, so you could equip him with stuff. You can mastermind to him. You can do a bunch of stuff. So I think he's the number one candidate for being fixed pre set release. If there's any figure that does. I think that's, I think that's pretty fair. It's just so strong. Like tons of people are already like losing their minds over him. It's also you know, I know we talked about him. Sadly, it's, it's, strong, dude. it's pretty much the only thing notable in the starter set. Um, the starter set is a great starter set for somebody that's new to the game. It's got plenty of like fun stuff with good sculpts. But as far as like competitive edge or whatever you want to call it, this figure is literally the only thing that brings something to the table. Everything else is very bland even like wonder woman 80 had like stop clicks and stuff this starter set is just like very basic kind of figures which is what a starter set set should be so like people don't just buy them all up so that they can have you know um 12 hulks at 50 points that can move and then quake yeah you right you right hey hey wait a second no i'm just kidding um first second there uh that you're quite literally referencing me because I, I did want to play a team that was like a pretty big heavy hulk quake team but like, Isaac nah, we played the played. the dune buggy never hulks. Played. oh yeah he did i forgot about, <laughs> forgot about that was that. a pretty was fun team yeah. uh anyways you know i think the starter i'm more excited for it for the scenarios and i already know the starter figures are already going to be like iffy to kind of lame i wish they would have gotten the wonder woman treatment with all the stock clicks or at the very least um a little bit more flavor text but yeah watch is really good i like how low point dial zombie cap is it makes me wish the main set one also has like a low enough point dial so i can have like an army of zombie caps yeah you know i like stuff like that um there's some utility but for the most part it's it's kind of they're in the same league as these starter figures you know, at the very least, there's one really, really good one. You know, in Empire, I don't think there was one really, really crazy good one. Not one no, that had this much talk of the town about it. You there's know? more often than not, like mediocre yeah, stuff. Yeah, mediocre so this is refreshing. This is good. You no, know, I'm pretty happy with it. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on into the community section. There are dozens of us. Dozens. We're gonna answer some questions from all over. This is our. I don't even know what week, third or fourth week of uh, Malcolm's question of choosing one figure that we would want to keep. Like if we deleted the rest of this entire set off the face of the earth, only have one figure from the set, who would it be? We are in Silver Age now. This is going to start with rules as these past weeks. Uh, We're just going to say the set name. I'll say my figure. Simeon will say his figure. And then we'll just do it again. We're not going to, might say one or two things about them, but we're not going to talk too long about it. We got quite a few sets to go through. So uh seeming give your list yeah cool i've got mine superior foes of spider-man i chose devil dinosaur for obvious reasons i also say if you guys can uh follow along with us because this could be pretty fun yeah devil dino that was my pick as well if you know you know you know Uh, in joker's wild i chose the super rare mr freeze pretty much for his sculpt alone yeah solid sculpt with nora um is that her name i don't know uh i went with the super rare the penguin all of the Fair. super rares from that set. Like they were, I mean, that whole set was like stupid, cheap figures, but man, some good sculpts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The super rare penguin um, Deadpool and the X force. Now this was a hard set for me, but I, I had to choose Howard the duck, oh, man. I went with 
the Super 050 Hellcow. Ah, oh, yeah. See, that was another solid. That's, like, they're all that's so good, the dude. Super I own the most of. At one point, I had eight. I think <laughs> I'm, I still have like six. Uh, from ADW, I chose, and I hate that this is the figure I chose, but I mean, like, there's no figure from this set I've played more. Uh, 069, nice. Captain America. Is that Sam, Sam Cap? Cap? It is Sam Cap, yeah. Yeah. The other one's 072, okay. Um, I was just trying to figure out which kind of bad you were. <laughs> secret invasion, or not, what was it? Not Secret Invasion. Oh, he wasn't, uh, Secret uh, Empire. Secret yeah. Empire, that's right. Um, from ADW, I chose 058 Black Panther. Uh, that's the one that generates Wakandan warriors, so obviously you need both. Alternate take is the, like, the Warbound Hulk is really cool. I forgot about him. I played against him in Sealed. That was, I was actually close because I had uh, he is made yeah. launcher Punisher or RPG Punisher actually really helped me out against him, but it was still. I always equip uh, him with the Blood deep. Axe because he yeah. still has Colossal Stamina and man, hey. real TV. solid. Plus three stats. From what if I chose the LE, we're supposed to choose main set. I chose the LE, but this can also be said for the main set, but I chose the captain or if that's not allowed, I'll choose the main set captain america nice i went with the super rare 043 peace machine of james course, rhodes one. from elseworlds i went the 006 templar oh, wait, one of my favorite Ooh. generics yeah that's generics generic. in Elseworlds. uh i went with 040 super rare al jordan this is the al 1001 nights al jordan oh, yeah. um the mighty thor i chose 029B Scourge. Ooh. That's what I should have picked. I picked 043 Zarko the Tomorrow Man. Oh, dude. I liked him what too, a though. Frustrating, frustrating figure to fight against. He was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, from Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls, I chose 044 Kite Man. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a really good set. I went with um, the Super Air 054 King Shark. I really okay. liked any of the uh, Secret Six figures that had the like Six of Us trait, they were just all really solid once you once you had exactly six characters. But obviously King Shark being the super rare was the mo- most impressive one. He was such a baller. Uh, Timmy, did you choose one from Star Trek? I did. Okay. Uh, I'll choose 006, Lieutenant Kyle. Hey, sidestep TK, right? Sidestep TK, yeah. <laughs> I went so, with 024, the one I've played the most out of any Star Trek figure, 024 Orion Female. It might be a generic, oh, but get three of them. Just just trust me. Get three of them and play them casually. You'll see. Uh, from X-Men Xavier's School, I chose the best super rare in that set. 049, my man, Professor X Dreamer. Let's go. Never give up on a dream, ladies and gentlemen. Memes can be dreams. Professor Extremer, one of the best title characters of all time. That's that's strange. I thought you might have gone with like zero uh, one nine Cyclops with a ten point discount or something. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> I went with a zero three seven A Professor X. This is the one that can target Ooh. through everything and mind controls everyone within his range. Um, he can't make attacks when he hits. But he can like make them all move, so it's a real good disruptor piece. Both pro- chose Professor X. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. From Avengers Infinity. Now this was a tough set because they finally clicked um, the version of Giant Girl that I was most familiar with. But I had to give it to my boy, the Avenger of South Dakota, Jack of Hearts. Oh man, probably the like the first time they've clicked him in at least ten years. Something like that. Something yeah, it's like been a that. Long time. Yeah. And he at least had running shot pulse wave back when it was relevant. That's yeah, solid. Pick. Nice. Um, I went with the super rare colossal G zero two one Lord Chaos and Master Order. So it's, yes. it's just a really fun piece. It's not necessarily good, but man, is it a lot for your opponent to deal with. Oh, Secret Wars Battle World. I chose. Couldn't she, I couldn't choose a single one, dude. Uh, Sheriff Steve Rogers, dude. I It was him or Shifting Focus Caps, and I couldn't choose a single Shifting Focus Cap because you play them all together. 
It had to be Sheriff Steve Rogers. Sheriff Steve's my man. He's like good. Sheriff Steve. Yeah. Love me some showdown. No, he's he's almost as good as like the weird world thing. Um, but you know who's better because they are the weird world world thing. Uh, which the queen Lafay? I need yeah, yeah, yeah. zero five you six. Always, you she gets cheat. all the speed powers. Slap a WWE team character on there, or like the the wrestling ring, and gosh, she's got slingshot. She's got sidestep, nimble, flurry. You can technically get three attacks with her, and a ton of like knockback. It's really fun. Gross. Yeah. Before um, they got rid of knockback damage. You could pulse like single target pulse wave somebody with force blast and like knock them off of elevated, and the way that like the actions resolved, they still wouldn't be able to use defense powers when they took the the knockback damage. It was really good back then, but obviously, I still enjoy it. Right, of course. Okay, from Earth X set, I chose this should be this is our last set. There's no surprise to anybody. Uh, Cap's title cap. How to go, my boy, Cap Rezzy, dude. Love yeah. Him. He's bald. He's punching you. He's, <laughs> he's really you, good. Dude. Um, I went with the character that they made a map for, the 056 Iron Man with the good Iron map, Avengers. Dude. He's so good. He's really fun. Um, I've only played him a handful of times on that map, but yeah, he's he's pretty cool. Um, did you pick something for Batman Animated? Oh shoot! I totally forgot about Batman animated. Oh goodness gracious! I'll go with yeah. I'll go with my pick real quick. Um, I went with the the rare Bruce Wayne. This is the Batman yeah. Beyond version of Bruce Wayne, who can pick an apprentice, and then he hits a stop click, and he makes an ace bystander, which I think is fun mm. because then you got a dog that can bite people. I do really like that one too. I'm just gonna go with my boy, Apache Chief and Nuck Chuck, baby. Oh yeah. I was explaining so. Um, moving on. That's the end of uh, that set of questions. We'll be back next week with uh, let's see, Modern rebirth age, forward, rebirth forward. Um, but going today. off of uh, Apache Chief, I was explaining to a newer player uh, how Quake works with Giant Reach because, like Quake says, target everyone that's adjacent, and Giant Reach gives you adjacency within like x squares and then i was like yeah it gets even crazier when you've got like apache chief because at some point potentially you could quake the entire board and he was like oh because like you know you can draw a line of fire and i was like no it's because he's colossal (laughs) and he gets like you know big man tokens man Um, it's something that i've actually done multiple times where i just live leave uh apache chief in the back until He's got enough tokens where I can like charge four and quake like twelve squares away. Mm, yes, mm, yes, I like it. Yes, Beautiful. I like it very much. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, next up, we have a few questions. Really quickly, we were asked to make the Avengers Empire Fantastic Four Century. Try to make a competitive-ish team with him. Um, or not really make it meta podcast. That's kind of a different show. It's sort of their thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, we don't. I, we don't I, do make it meta. Um, I did my best with this. I think it's fun. Uh, so just going for Sentry's a tough figure to build around, but I think he's one that when people look at him, like they definitely want to build around him. 150 is a lot to pay for, even though he reduces penetrating damage. It's really rough. Um, no stop clicks. Uh, he does have steel energy his entire dial, but his top click, which is nice, but. He's 150, or he's only 50, and on 50, he doesn't have his charge flurry, which really hurts him a and lot. So reduces penetrating counts for almost nothing on his 50 point Almost line. nothing on 50. So I'm playing at 150, so he's half your build. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, this is sort of a good stuff is good team. It's not, a, it's not a theme. Avengers is still a good keyword. Cosmic is still a good keyword. The other ones are also keywords. No, take that with what you will. Um, so what am I trying to like lean into here? He's got flurry, he has charge, but he doesn't have a speed value. Okay, he's got a 12 speed charge. Let's make that a little bit better, shall we? Um, he's going to carry someone. Uh, so I'm going to say he's going to carry Tempo. Tempo is going to give him plus three speed value. Now, sadly, when he does do his charge flurry thing, uh, no, no, yes, absolutely, because it's just adjacent opposing characters. So he's going to charge flurry. He doesn't have battle fury. 
He doesn't have precision strike and he doesn't have exploit, which is really rough. At the very least, Tempo is going to give him an easy plus three speed to charge up 15 squares and then turn off super senses on whoever he ends up being next to. That's pretty big. We'll get into that in a little bit. So we're going to equip him with the power gem. We have ways to do that. We're going to play both flashes on this team as well. A charge flash for the leadership and then a TK flash for, you guessed it, the TK. So he starts in the second square. He TKs up six, move two, so eight. He charges 15, so he's got full map reach, right? He can hit square 25. There is no square 25 on the map. The dude's got full map reach. Makes that very easy. Thank you. Um, so now he is a 13 for six with the power gem. He's got that crazy speed. He's going to ignore super senses. So shape change is still really rough. I don't really have uh, great ways around it. But he's going to be carrying tempo. He's going to make two attacks. And then I think you can maybe move up the flash, the, the chargey one, and then maybe potentially also get attacked with the flash on this turn. But I had enough points. I'm going to throw on Micron. You could choose to do Adam. I'm going to do Micron. Uh, Micron can just follow him. I'm not going to get too much into his dial. Micron's an 11 for 3 himself. He also has Empower, which is going to make Sentry now swinging a 12 for 7 damage, which I really, really like. <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. So Sentry's now a 12 for, or 13 for 7, excuse me. He's awesome, uh, right? So, and then Micron himself has Close Combat Expert, so he'll be a 12 for 4, and he can be given an attack. He can just be following, followed along uh, with Sentry. He's carried, but not carried. He's just sort of there he also has sidestep and charge uh which can really help him a lot if he chooses tiny he can then later on choose colossal if he you know if this is your second turn which it should be if you're going first he can choose colossal which can obviously add way more reach to his charge but for how fast sentry is he's gonna be over on the other side of the map so it's a pretty heavy alpha strike team it's pretty simple yes uh it's very it would be a very expensive team it's two very expensive super rares it is a super rare prime that is expensive and that is of course a chase century i realize that um but i still think if yeah, like, they weren't asking I to make it fun it. they were asking to make it yeah. good make it I'm trying and to make it good, good. yeah so usually, it's not cheap. usually means a little bit of money not always oh, just a touch but yeah 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 uh, so that's that all right well i will say calder's team would definitely beat mine um Ooh. <laughs> I just picked, That's I also I like picked here. just good things are good kind of thing. Uh, I went heavy with the prob because I mostly want Sentry to like never miss. Um, and then whether or not they hit him, you know, whatever. Uh, so obviously went with Sentry at 150 because that's really the only point line that he's actually interesting at. Right. Um, I went with the prime Q from uh to boldly go or uh, what no was it to boldly go or was it uh resistance is futile i don't, I don't know i'm not a nerd i don't <laughs> i don't remember which one but i went with the prime q from uh the trek set uh resistance is futile that's right um yeah. so he's got not only does he have prob with eight range um but then he's also got dice replacement and he can also um replace super sense with his dice so you can either make an opponent miss or help make yourself hit. I went with from the the amazing, just hard to pick one good figure out of it. I went with the uh, Eternals movie, Zero Twenty One Sprite for thirty five points. To pick one good figure out of it. I think you <laughs> yeah. did. I think you picked the one good figure out of it. For thirty five points, you get eight range with uh, Outwit, Prob, and Shape Change, and then also Super Senses. And then Sprite can't um, be targeted by non-adjacent opposing characters until they make an attack or are the last character on your team. So for the most part, they're protected if they're eight range away. Um, and then finally, well, not finally, I'll go with my, my last little support piece. I went with from the Wonder Woman 80th set, uh, Star Sapphire, the rare she has sidestep flight with TK, so can help you move around, get some a little bit of extra speed and stuff like that. Uh, she also has barrier on those clicks. So quite a bit of stuff she's got going on. Um, she does have the sideline active unique modifier thing, but that almost never does anything, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, but for 25 points, um, 
the Injustice League team ability doesn't really do anything for her on this click, but TK, barrier, sidestep, it's all good stuff. And then lastly, it's the only other character on this team that could even be considered as like a tertiary attacker. And it's from the Fantastic Four Future Foundation set, the 061 Marquis of Death at 60 points. Ooh. Cosmic Energy, 10, uh, 10 range, 2 lightning bolts with sidestep and energy explosion. But this energy explosion, when Marquis of Death uses it, for each hit character you may choose that they're healed one click instead of being dealt damage. That means if you run sentry up and then you energy explode, like he takes a little bit of damage and you energy explode someone next to him, you can deal the opposing character 2 damage uh, and then heal sentry. Uh, you can also heal the opposing character because then this Marquis of Death also has each time an opposing character heals, give him a false hope token. And then he's, I think, one of the few characters in modern or the only character in modern that can deal pulse wave that's more than one. Like so, and that's to multiple people. So for each false hope token uh, that he has, you can pulse wave and then use or remove those false hope tokens and deal however many damage you had tokens for. So I've used him a few times. He also has prob on that click. So 10 range, two lightning bolts, prob, sidestep, flight. He's pretty good at just being a support piece for 60 points. Um, I've used him mainly for the pulse wave thing, but I've also managed to pull off the healing part, which is pretty cool as well. But yeah, okay. it's a pretty simple, like, you know, I've got three probs. I've got a TK. I've got a lot of like taxi stuff. I do have kind a of barrier need, yeah. if it's necessary. So it's heavily relying on sentry, but it's also giving them enough like distanced probs to not only keep your support safe, but also um, make sure that he's hitting all of his attacks. I will say I don't have any like way out of barrier besides like wasting maybe a flash attack or something you know to like go destroy the barrier of course obviously flash could also carry micron and destroy both of those or something you know who knows but like yeah that was good it's good good thinking simeon good thinking on the barrier there my guy uh That's my all right favorite power now I hate you i hate you i hate you <laughs> funny uh, i had all right. points for molecule man uh, no uh all right uh <laughs> questions in the discord our Discord is Patreon exclusive. If you've been wanting to get into Discord, you can. You can join Patreon for as little as $1, though I will say we are probably uh, one of the best value for value Patreons if you join for a higher tier. Uh, 25 bucks a month. Uh, that'll get you a t-shirt every couple of months. It will get you six action tokens every month. It will get you uh, some cool stickers. 25 entries into our giveaway. This last month, I gave away... Jeez, what did I give away? Namor and the Power Gem. I gave away a booster of War of the Realms. I gave away... Ace and Wingard, and then I gave away uh, some other cool stuff, some super rares and some primes. Um, but yeah, we're giving away quite a lot on there. We're, our Patreon, you guys are so awesome in helping support the show, so we love it. Uh, but yes, a mini Patreon plug, but these are all our Patreon questions that they asked us. And Laura McCall says, if WWE made a legend set, who would each of your top five picks in the set that haven't already been made? So I'm still going to say that Wave 2 hasn't been made for this. Right. Um, because like those are some of the characters that I like want in the set, you know. So I'm just gonna run down mine. Uh, might seem a little random, might seem a little fun, but Kurt Angle, Hulk Hogan, Razor Ramon, Rey Mysterio. I don't know if he counts as a legend yet or not, but I mean it's Rey Mysterio, man. Like, hey, we gotta get a Rey Mysterio. Uh, and then just because I think last week he officially became a legend, uh, Hurricane Helms. Okay, yeah. He signed, a, he signed a legend contract, so he's a legend. I just, he's funny. Yeah. Most fitting to um, be curious, maybe. I would like to, so I'll just go through a, co a couple quick ones. If you, li like, actually partake in WWE, um, you'll know who I'm talking about, so I'm not going to discuss them too much. Um, and if you don't, then you'll be happy that I'm done uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, Gorilla Monsoon and Jerry Lawler would both yeah, be Jerry like, Lawler. Yeah. instant picks for me um yeah. jimmy snooka we were half promised uh jake the snake um the hardy bros would be like an awesome one ted dibiase would be awesome um 
you already said Rey Mysterio, but like I, yeah, that would also be one of my, like yeah. my top things. And then Maybe, yeah, um, to that. Edge and uh, Jericho would be like my yeah. final, what I'll consider like the only two almost modern ones. Like they're still wrestling, so they're modern ish. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like wrestling, hot take. Um, I didn't like grow up with wrestling, so a lot of this stuff is like me looking back and like looking into it and trying to like watch what I can. I didn't like anything the Hardy Bros did at all. Like probably because I was it wasn't new to me. Like I'd seen people oh, do that yeah, yeah. anyways. You know what I mean? So like when I look back at the Hardy Bros, I'm like, uh, they have gross style. They look really bad. <laughs> like they some of the tackiest. What like worst super slicked hair, like greasy it's hair like and tank tops isn't cool. Weird like cut up clothes. Like it's so of that era. It's absolutely nineties. So, yeah, it's so cringy Distilled to me. Distilled nineties. Then uh. I'll never uh never forget what uh what a mess Jeff Hardy made. What a mess he made of Sting and TNA. Like what a, a joke. Um just kidding. He was going through a problem and he's better now. But uh I'll take that seriously. <laughs> just messing. Uh, but still, my boy Sting deserves better. Anyways. Uh obviously yeah. clearly made was... up. They're both in they're both in AEW and we're on a team together. I'm joking, everybody. Yeah. I'm joking. No, Jeff's definitely gotten better. Um, yeah. but anyways, no, I, 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 I still I agree with him a lot of because, um, I actually had, uh, Jake, the snake Roberts written down, but then I was like, ah, oh, I want Kurt Angle more than Jake Roberts, but yeah, Jake yeah. The snake is like, so, so like legend. Absolutely. I could have gone with either. I mean, obviously Kurt Angle is slated for wave two, but it was like, yeah. personally, Jake, the snake was a better, um, he was a better character when I was like first getting into like wrestling and stuff but kurt angle was in my opinion a much longer and healthier like lived career like healthier as far as tv ratings not as far as his actual health lord knows most of these guys did not have a healthy uh career but yeah uh i mean most wrestlers don't have a healthy career sometimes uh at least on their body no yeah yeah uh, all right, cool. What is next? Luke, Luke Luke says, based on the Scott Porter unboxings, what would you build for a 300 silver team if you had to pick a Super or Chase Prime build around? Uh, we're going to save that for next week. Uh, we didn't. We, we already built one team. We're building too many teams. We can't be building all these teams. Ridiculous. Uh, ben Jones says, if we get Hanna-Barbera slash Warner Brothers set, which characters from the classic shows would you like to see? Uh, then he names off a few shows. Uh, I said... I think we got to get Flintstones and we got to get Jetsons. Me, there's no other like more well known besides like a Scooby Doo, Hanna Barbera cartoon like Flintstones, Jetsons. Then my personal like selfish pick is Quick Draw McGraw. Yeah. Would you would you pick Simeon? Um, so I went with more like the Warner Bros route. Um, mm. So they've got um, the Animaniacs. We've got like the the three Animaniacs, four Animaniacs, whatever, however many. I don't remember. Um, and then you've got obviously like the Looney Tune, like Porky Pig, uh, Buzz Bunny. I think it'd be really cool to get a uh, like Road Runner and like Wiley e. Coyote, and then like a uh, Ultra Chase, uh, Taz the Tasmanian Devil, and like Full Tornado. I think those are characters that like obviously they're not gonna like go toe to toe to like Superman or whatever, but they've got Tune physics on their side. Um, Maybe we'll get Captain Carrot someday. Who knows? Captain Carrot. Technically, kind of funny. if they There's go, if they uh, do a full like Looney Tunes set, we could get a Michael Jordan. He was no. he was a tune I mean, at one. Yes, point. I I will take Michael Jordan over. Who's the the new guy? Who's the new basketball player they LeBron have? LeBron James. LeBron James. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell I don't watch sports? <laughs> wow. I didn't. I didn't bother watching the new Space Jam. I've heard it's not like a. To be honest, the old one did not age well. It's not a great movie. It's just a meme, is all it is. Yeah, like that's it's... why people like post and say stuff about it. You know, like whatever. You know, is Samurai I... Jack part of Warner Bros? Dude, is he? I think it's a Cartoon so... Network show. It's typically Cartoon Network and stuff like that. It might just be Cartoon Network, but. Um... That animation style, because the the original animated clones, there's a short series in that animation style by that like same director, whatever, who did like Samurai yeah. Jack, 
and that clone saga is like it really is cool uh mace windu like punches some armored droids to death with yeah, just fists he's like so cool in that um Obviously, I, I'm a fan of both of the animated series, but that one has some really solid moments. That's actually, I think, where Asajj Ventress is first introduced. It was that uh, another time when Simeon, I, I go to Simeon's house, and what we did was just watch YouTube videos that he showed me. <laughs> did I just show you? That's yes, right. You yeah. did. Yes, you did. I feel like Calder is a, uh... <laughs> he's like a captive when he comes here. He's like too afraid to just like run away and be like all right i'm gonna stay at the holiday inn instead and just so i'm like all right ride, here's another man. video here's some more no. meat canyon <laughs> no oh it's the worst dude the terrifying oh uh, i hate it i hate it thank you thank you can't remember it. what the newest one he did was uh it wasn't know. good I though them recommended to me sometimes like i don't want to click on them and yet part of me is like but click on them want to click on that I want to see the weird disturbing things i'm like no i don't i promise you i do not i can live without it uh okay i really really do not um, his own bill says ff ff it was toy story it was it was a very very bad but toy story was? one. Oh no i don't want to i don't it's don't called you got a friend in me yeah stop 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 <laughs> zero any podcast any <laughs> hero clicks podcast yeah. His own bill. His own bill. William, Michigan says, FFF zero twenty four, X Men Rise and Fall zero thirty one, F four zero twenty five, FF, uh, Fast Forces Uncanny X Men zero twenty six, Uncanny X Men zero twenty th- or zero thirty seven, Deadpool zero fifty, uh, Deadpool one hundred four, above Spider Man zero twenty seven, and Mutations and Monsters zero thirty. None of them are set number twenty three, and none of them cost twenty three points. Where's WizKids hiding? Uh, Simeon, host of the Indom Wars podcast, do you want to answer this question? <laughs> well, you see, Bill, this insidious disruption of numerology cannot go unnoticed. Me, as a, as a huge proponent of numerology, I think numbers tell everything. Obviously, the Kenny Penas of the world do not want to unleash what the number 23 is fully capable of. That's why they always add an X. X is an exponent, so it's X23. It's Bentley 23. It's never just 23. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what we I, expected. I personally think this has to do with Dr. Pepper being better than Fago, since Dr. <laughs> Pepper has 23 flavors. That How about is that true. one, Bill? Yeah. Uh, uh, if you want to ask more questions about the number 23, please reach out to um, Jim Carrey, arguably the most renowned expert on the number 23. What? Was that not the name what? of the movie? I did? Never seen it? I mean, like, never mind. Ed- yeah. Edit that out. No, he's in, he's in a horror movie called The Number 23. 23? Yeah. The number 23? Where it just keeps like... Hey, no. okay. yeah. It's not good. It's, it's like... Day. If you took numerology to the extreme and went insane, that's what it is. He's like, the number oh. keeps popping up. It's like, yeah, it's two digits, bud. Yeah, it's two the digits. The whole world has numbers. It's like, two digits. You know how They're eventually going to pop up a lot. Start thinking about like the number 42 or 69, like even though those have meaning, you're just going to notice them in everyday life because you're thinking about them. I started yeah. thinking about the number 105. I'll like walk by like a locker. Whoa, that was locker number. What does it mean? It's, it's like, like it if means you, you're thinking about the number, my guy. If you drive a, uh, let's see, this is a tangent. We're getting on a tangent right now about something. If you not drive, related. let's say, like you drive a 2004 Oldsmobile Alero, you'll notice every other 2004 Oldsmobile Alero oh, exactly. on the road. Yes, because you happen to own one, so you just automatically like notice them a lot more. So you'd be like, oh look, another Alero. Oh look another Alero. You'll notice every single one. You won't notice like the fact that there's like 18 more, I don't know, Honda Civics Volkswagen per Beetle Alero. Or something yeah. random. Yeah. yeah. You won't like, you don't notice all that stuff. The only reason I notice Teslas is because they don't have a grill on the front. And that I think is so it's so annoying. Weird. Look weird. I'm like, Look gross. I think if I ever got one, I would put a fake grill on the you're, front. <laughs> you're going to put like a sticker or like cut a hole? Yeah, just Get a sawzall out and cut a bunch of oh, no. air. So bad. This thing needs more airflow. 
to uh, cool well, the non-engine. All right, guys, we are out of questions. We are out of random banter, even though I love the idea of clearly modifying a Tesla to make it 100% better. Uh, this was a fun week. This is a great week. Once again, I'm going to urge you guys, check out our YouTube channel if you want to see all of that beautiful Scott Porter unboxing. Goodness, Simi and I go over it uh, through thick and thin. We went through all those unboxings. Uh, we're at about 100 an hour 10 minutes so i feel pretty solid having a little shorter uh episode this week since we did a ton of stuff on the youtube channel this week go check out those videos do all that it's youtube or dialage for hero clicks youtube.com if you type in dialage for hero clicks you're gonna find it on youtube follow us on twitter you know like it keep up to date with us you'll get you know notifications and stuff like that video comes out when we ask a community question so you can ask ask questions of the podcast important questions stuff like that if you want to like our Facebook page, that always helps us out. Something about that Facebook page like number feels so good. So much better than a Twitter follow. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys. And of course, you know, just uh, enjoy the podcast. Write reviews. If you genuinely enjoy the podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, whatever, uh, leave a little podcast review. That really does help get our podcast recommended. Like if you, you know, were a new player at one point and you typed in Hero Clicks and you saw our podcast and you were listening to it and you want more new players to do it, well, when someone types in hero clicks, if you want them to see us first, the review super, super helps us get pushed there. So that would be a huge help, guys. That's all I have to say. Yeah. And uh, maybe when uh, X of Swords drops, we'll uh, revisit uh, Thursday Throwdown just to catch up. We're, we're at the point where I think we've got uh, like three games that we could do. Uh, and that's if we're yeah. including Eternals I movie think... versus the Fantastic Black Four 2021 storyline. <laughs> oh gosh, no, nah, that I wouldn't be terrible. Eternals I mean, versus Black Widow. Come on, did we ever? The do, only did two we not do Black sets. Widow. Oh, we didn't so. do Black Widow. I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Once rotation happens, we'll do more Thursday. I just wanted to happen. see you get like a vote for Thanos, and I get a vote for. Uh, werewolf deviant at a hundred oh, points. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck with that. Um, but no, Thanks, we've dude. got we've got uh, Empire, War of the Realms, Disney Plus, and then we'll have X of Swords. Um, so yeah. And if you watch our YouTube stuff and you see Scott Porter's unboxings with like those God packs, uh, potentially out there in the wild. Um, some interesting equipment that's really economical point-wise, some fun traits and stuff, and you want to pick some up, you should pick those up at CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including the latest Heroclix singles and sealed products. So check them out at CoolStuffInc.com, and use code DIAL5 to get 5% off. Happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how would six I, uh, how people humor? think I am funny? It's a hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools. It's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Google, attack someone. Let's attack Simeon because he's a jerk. Epic Trails. 